It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Uh, Pegasus just completed her turn. It's a do or die time right now for her. She's four achievements to six for Runt. Eight wins the game. Um, and as we established at the end of last time, really her big hope right now is to get the jump on Runt in terms of age, which she, which is kind of the one uh, ability other than just the specifics of the card she has. Uh, that is greater than runs. You know, we could get into details within in terms of icons and whatnot as to what she has more than runt. I mean, runt has more cards on her board. Um, Pegasus has more splayage going, more tower or more factories, more more light bulbs, etc. But um, so basically, all she did was she drew a six using Antony von Lufenhoch. And then melded it, machine tools. So she's an age six, whereas Runt's age five. That's not a huge jump, but we'll see what happens. Run had a strong showing at the end of the last video session, um, but she has found herself kind of like looking for another way to go. That's something you find in innovation. You kind of get a combination going, and then once it's run its course, you have to shift directions, and that's going. That's kind of where Runt finds herself right now. So what she do? She used Peter the Great to tuck a card from her hand, uh, which is this card right here. And then that, since that was an Inspire action, she was able to draw five. So she drew a five, and then melded that five Astronomy. So she's kind of using. She's going to be using Astronomy, unless she gets something else based on Pegasus's actions, which you know, is unlikely. Um, she's going to be using Astronomy on her next turn to, to get some sixes. Pegasus is groping herself, but with a little bit more of a plan. She um, melded Christian Huygens, Huygens which uh, caused her to score the other person who I don't want to try to say his name without reading it off the card. And his card is now here in the score pile. Um, it's an interesting effect. If you would foreshadow a card, instead meld it if as a clock. Um, the dogma effect of Christian Huygens is um, that you draw and foreshadow a 7, 8, or 9. So she basically gets to gamble on any of these piles. If they have a clock, then, and it's only two, it's within two of her highest top card, then she gets to meld it. So she's hoping to get into age 8, um, which didn't happen, obviously. But she has the 8 in her forecast. So if she's able to keep doing that, gets an 8, then she can then... Uh, forecast whatever whatever is here by melting the eight. We'll see what happens. We're going back to Runt. Runt is dogmaing astronomy, which uh, Pegasus is going to get to do first. That's kind of attractive still because Runt is going to get to draw a green card as a result. So Pegasus already splayed her red cards left as a result of that as a result of that. Now she's going to draw and reveal a six. And if it is green or blue she gets to meld it and repeat it. She gets it's green, so she's going to meld it and repeat it, draw and reveal a six. It's green. This is pretty good for Pegasus here, and it's purple, so Pegasus is going to keep that. Now it's time for Runt to do that. Draw and reveal a six, and it's yellow. So she, she didn't do so well off of that, but she is going to get to draw this green five, which is Samuel de Champlain, and she's going to get another action. We'll see what that is. She's going to do astronomy again. She's kind of shooting in the dark. She's kind of got an idea of how she wants things to go, but again, it's going to be left up to chance. So we're going to Pegasus again. Pegasus has no cards to splay left. All of her splays are splayed right or already splayed. Her yellow cards are not able to be splayed because there's only one card. It's not green or blue, so she's going to keep that. And then Peg or Runt is going to do it. So she's going to draw and reveal a six. Again, it's not green or blue, but it's Emancipation. That's nice. And she's exhausted that pile of sixes. And she's going to be able to take Bartolomeo Cristofort. Cristofori. Bartolomeo Cristofori. Pegasus failed. Well, she got a, a forecast again with her Christian Hugans card. And then she did classification in order to reveal a red from her hand, which let her take all the reds from Runt's hand and then meld all those reds. So she's building up her board, kind of catching him in that respect, even as she's attempting to jump ahead to age eight. Again, with the astronomy for Runt, she, and again, Pegasus is going to copy. So we're going to draw and reveal 
a seven now because the sixes are gone. Again, it's not green or blue, so it's gonna go there. Um, Pegasus is gonna do it. She's gonna splay this left, but we'll do that afterwards. It is green, so we'll meld that, and that's really good for Pegasus. She doesn't have any green, and Peter the Great lets her score or achieve green cards. Um, she's gonna keep going. She's gonna keep going, and that's gonna stay there. Pegasus is now in the danger zone. Runt is at seven achievements. She used um, Steam Engine to draw and tuck two fours. Uh, Pegasus got to do that first, which is going to give Runt even a, an additional card there. And I think that's going to give her enough so that on her next turn she can end the game just with um, a decree action. She can get her eighth achievement there. Uh, that let her achieve her bottom green card, which at that point was a four, and she had the 20 points. So this could, this is Pegasus's last turn to do something, otherwise Run's gonna end the game. Pegasus doesn't have any really good options, so she is going to leave it to chance, and that is going to mean using Christian Hurens, draw and foreshadow an eight, and hope that it is has a clock, so that's going to put this here. Again, I don't know if this, you may return a card from your hand if you do choose a value and return all cards of that. Yeah, that's not going to do anything for her. She had an eight in her hand. Yeah, that's not really going to do a lot for her. Um, she want, yeah, she would need to be able to get one of the cards from her forecast twice. She's kind of out of choices, isn't she? I can, I'm can. i going to look again, but I think, I think this game might be runs. There is nothing she can do. I didn't even take her second action because no matter what it was, it wasn't going to stop Runt from um, using the decree action to take that final eighth achievement. It was a runaway game, um, but still enjoyable. I, I, I would have enjoyed it no matter who won. Um, I, I guess I would have preferred like a more of a, a, a competition there, but I think um, if we're going to accept narratives that are not prescripted, that, that uh, leave something to chance, we have to accept that sometimes, it's and oftentimes actually, it's not going to be a close game. We all, like with sports, I understand that people really enjoy the games where either one, their team is smashing the other team, or two, where it's a close game. Um, and I know I've, I've watched a few sporting things in the past, and the games I've appreciated the most, where it was, it was a close game. Um, this wasn't a close game, but that's okay. That's, that's kind of how life, that's, that's closer to life and closer to um, the more natural narratives of life, which is, I think, what draws people to games versus um, maybe some other other form of art where it seems more like there's this kind of emotional um, payoff. Um, so you leave yourself to chance. You have to take the times when it's just kind of like predator eats the prey or one team beats the other. I think it's sad. I, I think it, in this sort of like um, with these two particular people, given their long history, it would have been satisfying either way. Uh, Runt certainly, I think, earned it in a lot of ways more. I mean, she's the one who actually sat through that whole game of seven by seven ages and ended up winning. Whereas Pegasus kind of would have been the poetic victory because she had that whole lost and then found story. And we gave her a shot, but she found we, we found that she was wanting. And um, Runt is going to proceed into the semifinals of the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think she, she earned it, and so that's great. See you next time on the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament.